TV even in that in the last numbers or last letters. This is definitely Kate's floor. Okay. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. Mm. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. No problem. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Whatever Nathan exactly has done is a question. But we'll see. Hey, you're drawing. Hello, Kate. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. But when I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. That's nice. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's, that's nice. a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Yay. Okay, let's have a look into the drawings. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Rainbow flock. Uh, interesting. I miss my mustard board cat. Where is she? Walk, walk. Not uh, here. Here she is. And then, what about the book? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Mm. And it's good to hear that Victoria sent a message too. I'm not sure how much she, or how wrong she feels, but I do think that it was relatively sincere nonetheless. I don't, as I said, I don't think she wanted nonetheless her to commit suicide. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Well, Nathan probably would have, possibly, if he wouldn't have accused him of being possibly responsible. So, yeah. But I'm glad that Victoria wrote or did sign this too. In our hearts and thoughts, we love you, Gate, Blackwell Academy. So, we love you, Gate, Trevor, Alyssa. Rory, Victoria, Luke, Warren, Luke, Zach, Daniel, Max, Evan, Rivera, Stella, Hayden, Justin, um, Courtney, all of them. 
and just uh, flowers. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yeah. Like, she can be pretty mean and all, but she doesn't still want her or wouldn't have wanted her to go and commit suicide. Gate, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Like so, Victoria. That's nice. That is nice. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Well, good that he does sometimes, then at least. So, dear Gade, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and facility have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little, given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Ray Wells. Picture. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Mm. Good. I hope they have already then visited here too. I guess we can sit for a moment here. Let her continue drawing first. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Time travel is such a mindfuck. It certainly would be. Certainly, certainly would be. No question about it. The sausage pouring uh, mustard to himself is uh, funny, though, for sure. Quite, quite funny. I think we went through all the different scenes exactly. Okay, before we shot. Balloons. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Kinda, but I don't know what would be the better balloons exactly. A little bit of flowers at least. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Nice. Yes, a <laughs> sort of pouring mustard to himself. Mm. Also... If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Jesus. Yes, he's, uh, she's, after all, religious, so... Interesting. Alrighty, let's chat, Kate, soon. It is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Yeah, that's very good, for sure. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Uh, I guess we could say first about Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment mm. we all have our moments why do you think she acts so mean <sighs> that is a good question but yeah considering we saw her try to pursue the um what was the teacher's name but the teacher she very well might be just simply insecure and then just putting up a big bravado to and act like a bitch as a result, so she's insecure? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. Hmm. Well, how are you doing, Kate? I always want to talk to you. 
We missed our tea session this week. <laughs> that was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. <laughs> Maybe. Warren. Or no boys allowed. Uh, boys good wit. Fit, really. Kinda. Why do you say Warren, though? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. Mm -mm. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. Mm, I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. <laughs> Even angels need angels, Max. That's good. Uh, so I guess we should be talking about Nathan too. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Mm. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Uh, well, I guess the Rescott family would be a pretty good one. Of course, Vortex Club is there too, but let's... I'll say Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number get inside and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. You're welcome. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. We shall. I just, um, I'm a little bit concerned about the idea of missing or getting Kate mixed up onto this again, but we didn't even have a lot of choices there. We just said about, because we talked to her, then I, I guess we'll keep it, but in all honesty, I really would want not want Kate to go and try to solve what is Nathan's number, because... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel right at all, but at least it will solve the issue or the question mark that we have about what is the unknown number that has been sent in us, the private number. Well, a cell's private number doesn't have even at all, even uh, any sort of a text, so in that sense, hmm, as in a number, it doesn't show the number when it's private, so maybe it won't be solving issues. <sighs> well, I don't know, I guess we'll keep it. But I do wonder what kind of a scene this would be at the moment if we wouldn't have managed to save Kate from jumping down. So uh, I do have to go and have a look later on by someone that actually has failed and... Uh, what this would actually look like as a scenery then, or what kind of a scene there would be when there's no Kate. But uh, I, I guess we are leaving. I hate getting Kate involved. Again, getting the phone number and everything, but uh, I didn't really see how I could say that she shouldn't do it other Maybe than not Kate talking has more at information all. information about Nathan that we can use. Well, we just chatted to her, so I don't think Thanks there's much else. Visiting me, Max. Yeah. I'll see you soon, Kate. I hope. I hope I shall see you soon. Hello, Chloe. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Mm. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Oh dear, I'm not sure how this is going to be going. I kind of have a bad feeling about this. Uh, they're talking again. 
kind of understandable. And everyone is just hanging out outside. For sure. Yes, and then this teacher and the janitor also chatting and then another totem. Like I mentioned, this totem pulls in here, which is kind of very hey, strange. Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. Mm -hmm. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. Mm -hmm. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, <laughs> you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! Mm. You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Uh, don't be Chloe. jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. <laughs> Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now okay. That's a great plan. Well, I guess you shall do that, and then we are gonna be just looking let's and see if talking I can find to everyone. Out where is. Yeah, let's just. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. He certainly was, and I missed shutting the opportunity to really shut to him, even so. I doubt we can actually talk to this too, but uh, just going to at least go relatively close by. Hey, she's at least uh, again. Fl Doing something. Oh, there it is. The thing flying. I was thinking that the drone should be here around somewhere. And there it is. Considering she's looking like she's again driving one. That's so ironic that Warren Hello, asked Brooke. Max to drive in. Aw, I'm sorry that Warren asked me into a driving and not you. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. It's not like I don't own all the original apes films. Hmm. Yeah. True enough. Uh, hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Um, I'm I'm okay, I guess. Do you know where Nathan is? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I don't want that date, to be honest. What about whales? I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Hmm. So you're using your drone again? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. <laughs> but you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. 
I should go back to Chloe. I want to know, however. But yeah, I, I can understand. Brooke is disappointed and everything. For sure, so... Hey, Brooke. How are Let's you? just see if there was I'm something here. else that we could exactly be talking about considering Nathan when... I need to f ask... Considering... Come on, bro. How... Warren's not... Okay, so there is nothing else on that. Should I then be asking that from her even? It's kind of the question. I have to go. So Talk later, Brooke. Max to the drive -in. Maybe I need to just... Or maybe I will do the choice of going back on that. Oh, let's hey, just speak then, Sorry. I guess. I'm here. At least from the other two things. I, I... Well, that makes sense, that of course. We get that. Definitely, I want to be saying, and then about the troll. I might, Miss. You are per. That's fine. It's not like I don't own all the original eight spoons. It's kind of strange that she would just be alone saying that all the time. That I owned all the original ape films and all that, but yeah, I can understand her. I yeah, I guess you would have needed to try to do that instead. That you would need to have taken the initiative when, well, I don't know what Warren would have said to that, but that's a good question. But some of us. clear away another batch of dead birds today. Aww. Sad. Makes me mad. Poor Climate Samuel. Isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Hmm. Yeah, Samuel also was feeding the birds before, after all. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Speak. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Yes, about the animals first and foremost. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Hmm. What about the squirrels? Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy mm. and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. Hmm. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. <laughs> Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Yay. Aw, little squirrel. <laughs> Can I speak Sorry to more? bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. About the other I animals. Definitely have questions. Of I would oh. love to know about the other animals too. About the dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Hmm. Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. Oh, the squirrel is so eating. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I need to take a picture of that. Beach whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Sadness. They're not alone but in that. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. Hmm. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Interesting. Uh, about Arcadia Bay. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Hmm. 
about Rachel. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. Mm. If Rachel wants to be found. You think she's alive? Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. Mm. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Hmm. About the eclipse, that is. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Hmm. Beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I can very much understand you, Vortex Club. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Um, what about people, then? More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. <laughs> so, what about Kate? Or, well, we even met Kate just a moment ago. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Was it, in your opinion, destiny? It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Hmm. What about David? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Mm, why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Hmm. So what about Nathan, then? Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I'm sorry. I better get going now. It seems that Samuel sees a lot more than... what we do. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Oh. A partner, lure more than sure. We need more so that we could Keep actually that food in your belly. <laughs> Can I now take a picture? Can I? I, I want to take a photo though. Oh, now squirrels! Yay! Photo, absolutely. Cute little ones. I was not afraid of us though, at all. And we can be this close. Luke. <laughs> Eda, food is the universal language. It certainly is. Hello, Max. Hello, Thanks Mrs. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Mrs. Grant, I'm not sure if he should have fought the power, but I guess you're welcome. Can't be changed anymore. Well, maybe it could if we just rewind enough. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. 
I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Hmm. So, about the recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Hmm. Maybe it is beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. But I kind of do appreciate that it may all be scientifically explainable, but we just can't, couldn't then possibly explain it. It's possible. It's also possible that it's not, but who knows. I'll rather say dying animals. About all the dying animals. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What do you think about time travel? What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. <laughs> I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Mm. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Yeah. Not the best or the, well, safest thing to do. Uh, about Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Mm, no, thanks, I'd say. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? Mm-hmm. I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Hmm. What about the... A kind of both of our interesting questions. Let's ask about Principal Wells. So, why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you'll know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I didn't think of I, it I just like that wish personally. This could be but... the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Hmm, what about Nathan then? I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Uh, you know him better. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Mm. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I have to get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Okay. 
We shouted about everything we possibly could. Flee from those kids? What did you just say? <laughs> did I completely misheard that or something? Uh, anyways. Tune in for more next time in Life is Strange.